Hello students, welcome to the lecture on introduction to human resource management and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Understand concept of HRM, explain objectives of HRM, describe scope of human resource management, define importance of HRM, describe significance and challenges of HRM, explain concept of international human resource management. Let's start with what human resources are. It is a term which is used to refer to how people are managed by organization. It was basically a traditionally administrative function, but with time it focuses and recognizes talented and engaged people and organizational success. Human resources have at least two related interpretation depending on context. The original usage was traditionally called labor. It is a measure of the work done by human beings. This perspective is changing as function of new and ongoing research into more strategic approaches. This first usage is used more in terms of human resources development and can go beyond just organization to the level of national importance. The more traditional uses within corporations and businesses refers to the individuals within a firm or agency and to the portion of the organization that deals with hiring, Firing, training and other personal issues typically referred to as human resources management. The terms human resource management and human resources HR have largely replaced the term personal management as a description of the processes involved in managing people in organization. In simple sense, HRM means employing people developing their resources, personal management as a description of the processes involved in managing people in organization. Human resource management is to maximize the return on investment from the organization's human capital and minimize financial risk. Presently, human resource management is an integral but distinctive part of management. Its objective is the maintenance of better human relation in the organization by the development application and evaluation of policies, procedures and programs relating to human resources to optimize their contribution towards the realization of organizational objectives. HRM helps in attaining maximum individual development, desirable working relationship between employees and employers, employees and employees and effective modeling of human resources as contrasted with physical resources. It is the recruitment, selection, development, utilization, compensation and motivation of human resources by the organization. Generally, human resource management refers to the management of the entire workforce of an organization in a reliable, honest and professional manner. It is the responsibility of human resource manager in a corporate context to conduct these activities in an effective, legal fair and consistent manner. That's why the demand of human resource HR management has been dramatically increased these days. From corporate sector to banking industry, from non-profit organization to human protection groups, from IT solution companies to printing industry, human resource management is playing a critical role in all the other sectors of the economy. When sporting teams and work teams have plans to improve themselves or simply have a vacancy, the coach or manager usually calls in a specialist to find new talents. In companies, that specialist is the HR or human resources manager. HR staff kick into action and start the search for interested recruits. Recruiting is a huge part of making great teams. From the group of wannabes, HR staff use their knowledge and experience to find the best person for the job. HR managers are a vital link in the company's overall structure, making sure that the people match the company's purpose. But human resources staff do much more than find stars for the team. They provide expert advice to managers about how they can improve their team's performance and suggest training options to optimise staff potential. HR staff also monitor well-being, look after safety needs and sometimes act as intermediaries. Both sides need HR when differences arise. And importantly, they make sure people get paid fairly. They then follow up to ensure when jobs change, so does the pay. Keeping capable staff saves time and money in the long run, so HR managers play a big part in staff retention. 
In a big company, helping people along a successful career path is part of this responsibility. HR managers can make a big difference when they connect the right people. They help shape the business by facilitating change. Then everyone benefits. HR experts are employed all over the world, which allows for great overseas employment opportunities. So in summing up, human resources recruit team members, advice on team performance, oversee staff training options, monitor well-being, facilitate change, organise salary payments and resolve grievances. Did you know? The concept of HRM practice was based on Welton's in 1985 concept of the high commitment work system developed in Michigan, USA, school of which the soft perspective of HRM is based. Human resource management means management of people at work. HRM is the process which binds people with organization and helps both people and organization to achieve each other's goal. Various policies, processes and practices are designed to help both employees and organization to achieve their goal. In the general parlance, human resources are people and their characteristic at work either at the national level or organizational level. Maginson has defined human resources as follows. From the national point of view, human resources are knowledge, skills, creative abilities, talents and attitudes obtained in the population, whereas from the viewpoint of the individual enterprise, they represent the total of the inherent abilities, acquired knowledge and skills as exemplified in the talents and aptitudes of its employers. Someone consider human resources as human capital. He classified human capital into three categories, intellectual capital, social capital and emotional capital. Intellectual capital consists of specialized knowledge, tactics, knowledge and skills, cognitive complexity and learning capacity. Some of the definition are as follows. Human Resource Management HRM, is a function performed in organization that facilitates the most effective use of people, employees to achieve organizational and individual goals. Human Resources Management HRM is the management of the workforce of a business to ensure sufficient staff levels with the right skills, properly rewarded and motivated. Human Resource Management HRM is defined as staffing function of the organization. It includes the activities of human resources, planning, recruitment, selection, orientation, training, performance, appraisal, compensation and safety. HRM aims at developing people through work. Human Resource Management HRM is defined as all methods and function concerning the mobilization and development of personal as human resources with the objective of efficiency and greater productivity in a company, government, administration or other organization. Human Resource Management HRM encompasses those activities designed to provide for and coordinate the human resources of an organization. Human capital is another term used to describe the value of a company and employees. Employees drive the business success and are therefore considered resources or capital. Human resource planning takes on the challenge of structuring a department and a presence within the company through strategic planning, human resources, development and workforce planning. The human resources leader is generally the person with whom executive leadership has most communication. The goal of human resources is to bolster the company and employee reputation through hiring, training and promoting employees who represent the company highest level of service and product delivery. Strategic planning from the human resources perspective also means that the human resources leader plays an integral role in the development of organization, wide goals and objectives. Training, development and motivation are activities in which human resources professionals engage to prepare the current workforce for the challenging demands that future goals and objectives bring. Development of employee skills providing training to help employees gain new job skills and motivating employees are part of the human resources development arm of the department. Human resources develop often underlies the organization Therefore, the training and development of future leaders is determined as executive leadership accesses the skills, capabilities and aptitude demonstrated by current supervisors, manager and leaders within the company. Succession planning can ensure the company has a seamless transition 
in promoting the best qualified individuals to roles that will lead the company into future success. A wise man once said, that in the age of cuts, targets are king. The leadership team, consumed by fear of failure, impose unrealistic demands upon the workforce. Trust appears to be in rather short supply. Whistleblowing is, should we say, positively discouraged. A deepening mood of gloom and despondency falls over head office. It is fair to say that all is not well. Matt, once an enthusiastic advocate for the organisation, is at the end of his tether. Simone, a bubbly personality generally considered the life and soul of the party has become inveigled by the never-ending demands of her job. Marcus, a free, imaginative and rather innovative thinker, has become ground down by overbearing, target-driven bureaucracy. The outcome-obsessed leadership failed to recognise that the ship is slowly and inexorably sinking. Are they going to wait until it's simply too late for a change of direction? Or maybe it's time to jettison the target-based strategy. The time to be bold. Time for a fresh start. Time for a people-based approach. Time to trust. Time to believe. Caring for. Looking after. Inspiring motivating your people will yield far greater financial returns than simply beating them up with more and more targets. The recruitment and selection section of the Human Resources Department is involved in this aspect of human resources planning. Workforce planning involves projecting future employment trends, conducting workforce studies to discern the level of employees that will need to be hired and keeping abreast of graduates from institute and universities who will be entering the workforce ready for careers. Workforce planning also includes looking inward at the current workforce to determine which employees have the skills, aptitude and desire to move into other position with the company. Human resource planning is the responsibility of all managers. It focuses on the demand and supply of labor and involves the acquisition, development and departure of people. This is recognized as a vital HR function as the success of an organization depends on its employees. The purpose of HR planning is to ensure that a predetermined number of persons with the correct skills are available at a specified time in the future. Thus, HR planning systematically identifies what must be done to guarantee the availability of the human resources needed by an organization to meet its strategic business objectives. To achieve this, HR planning cannot be undertaken in isolation. It must be linked to the organization overall business strategy and concentrate on the organization long-range human resource requirements. Human resource planning should start with analyzing corporate level strategies which include expansion, diversification, mergers, acquisition, reduction in operations, technology to be used, method of production, etc. Therefore, human resource planning should begin with analyzing the corporate plans of the organization before setting out on fulfilling its tasks. Forecasting the overall human resource requirement in accordance with the organization plans is one of the key aspects of demand forecasting. Forecasting of quality of human resources like skills, knowledge, values and capabilities. Let us now move on to the discussion of the objectives of HRM. Objectives are predetermined goals to which individuals or group activity in an organization is directed. Objectives of personal management are influenced by organizational objectives and individual and social goals. Institutions are instituted to attain certain specific objectives. The objectives of the economic institution are mostly to earn profits and of the educational institution are mostly to impart education or conduct research, so on and so forth. However, the fundamental objective of any organization is survival. Organizations are not just satisfied with this goal. Further, the goal of most of the organization is growth or profits. 
Institutions procure and manage various resources including human to attain the specific objectives. Thus, human resources are managed to divert and utilize their resources towards and for the accomplishment of organizational objectives. Therefore, basically the objectives of HRM are drawn from and to contribute to the accomplishment of the organizational objectives. The other objective of HRM are to meet the needs, aspiration, values and dignity of individual employees and having due concern for the socio-economic problems of the community and the country. The objectives are predetermined goals to which individuals or group activity in an organization is directed, influenced by organizational objectives and individual and social goals. Every organization has some objectives and every part of it should contribute directly or indirectly to the attainment of desired objectives, determine the character of an organization and serve as a basic for voluntary cooperation and coordination among employees benchmark or standards of evaluating performance to promote the effectiveness of employees at this workplace it is also to promote the synergy between the employer and the employee as also to minimize the suspicion and hospitality that has characterized the relationship for so long main function of hrm include procurement development compensation integration and maintenance let's describe each of these functions Procurement means hiring right number of people and right kind of people. Procurement includes following sub-activities as job analysis, manpower, planning, recruitment, selection, placement, induction, promotion, demotion and separation. Development means enhancing knowledge, skills, attitude and abilities of employees in order to attain organizational objectives. It includes sub-activities like performance appraisal, Training of operation, development, career planning, succession planning, career counseling. Compensation means providing fair and equitable remuneration to employees. It includes sub activities as job evaluation and wages and salary administration. Integration means coordination, cooperation, interaction, and unity within teams between employee, employer organization and government in order to maintain harmony and harmonious relationship between team. It includes sub activities as motivation, job satisfaction and grievance redressal. Workers participation in management, collective bargaining and disciplinary procedures. Why do industry leaders use incentive for employee performance management and compensation management? To make sure that each employee has objectives supporting personal development while staying aligned with team and company direction. To ensure that employees constantly have a clear understanding of these objectives and how they are doing against them so they can adjust immediately if necessary. To define the most effective compensation plan to best support these objectives given budgetary and local job market or legal constraints. And so that employees have total visibility into these compensation plans thus maximizing motivation and retention. Thanks to Exentive, industry leaders have managed to link these four aspects together to have compensation plans that are aligned and effective. So what is it that Exentive provides for industry leaders? First, pre-built mechanisms to easily leverage data from HR and other systems, including external benchmarks, and to collect and approve qualitative information so they always have fresh, high-quality, controlled data automation of their business rules for calculation and real-time simulation of salary, bonus, commission, and stock options so they always have the most effective total compensation in place for each employee. Clear communication of objectives, results, and all aspects of compensation in one global view so that employees understand their objectives, results, and compensation. A process flow to ensure performance and compensation management is in the hands of local managers under the control of human resources so that these processes are executed much faster while empowering local managers. Whether they use Exentive for managing employee performance, compensation, or both, they benefit from a more efficient process. Human resources are undoubtedly the key resources in an organization. 
the easiest and the most difficult to manage. The objective of the HRM span right from the manpower needs assessment to management and retention of the same. To this effect, human resource management is responsible for effective designing and implementation of various policies, procedures and programs. It is all about developing and managing knowledge, skills, creativity, aptitude and talent and using them optimally. Human resource management is not just limited to manage and optimally exploit human intellect. It also focuses on managing physical and emotional capital of employees. Considering the intricacies involved, the scope of HRM is widening with every passing day. It covers but is not limited to HR planning, hiring, recruitment and selection, training and development, payroll management, rewards and recognition, industrial relation, grievance handling, legal procedure etc. In other words, we can say that it is about developing and managing harmonious relationship at workplace and striking a balance between organizational goals and individual goals. The scope of HRM is extensive and far-reaching, therefore it is very difficult to define it concisely. However, we may classify the same under following heads. HRM in personal management. This is typically direct manpower management that involves manpower planning, hiring, recruitment and selection, training and development, induction and orientation, transfer, promotion, compensation, layoff and retrenchment, employee productivity. The overall objective here is to ascertain individual growth, development and effectiveness which indirectly contribute to organizational development. HRM in employee welfare. This particular aspect of HRM deals with working condition and amenities at workplace. This includes a wide area of responsibilities and services such as safety services, health services, welfare funds, social security and medical services. It also covers appointment of safety officers, making the environment worth working, eliminating workplace hazard, support by top management, job safety, safeguarding machinery, cleanliness, proper ventilation and lighting, sanitation, medical care, sickness, benefits, employment, injury benefits, personal injury benefits, maternity benefits, unemployment benefits and family benefits. HRM in industrial relation, since it is a highly sensitive area, it needs careful interaction with labor or employee unions, addressing their grievances and settling the dispute effectively in order to maintain peace and harmony in the organization. It is the art and science of understanding the employment, union management relations, joint, consultation, disciplinary procedure, solving problems with mutual efforts, understanding human behavior and maintaining work relations, collective bargaining and settlement of disputes. Human resource management embraces a very wide field of activities. The scope of HRM is so wide and varied that the HR department and the personal executives typically perform a variety of roles in accordance with the needs of a situation. The HR manager plays multiple roles like that of a researcher, of a counselor, of bargainers, of a mediator, of a pacemaker, of a problem solver, etc. The functional areas of human resource management are employment, selection and training, employee services, wages, industrial relation, health and safety, and education. The HRM is very important in organization, especially in public sector organization. There are many issues arise in the public sector organization which need to resolve and HR managers are the person who resolve these problems. In universities, there's all kind of people from president to security guard who should be managed properly by someone. The foremost and prime HR function is any organization is recreating the right person and then getting required quality and quantity of work in line with organizational goals which uses various tools and techniques for motivation, appraisal, training, cross-culture, management, emerging issues in personal laws like sexual harassment, etc. One of the main reasons for rise in corruption and selfishness pursued by public sector employees is jealousy towards unusually high wage rates in so-called hi-fi and MNCs organizations around the globe, particularly in countries like Pakistan that are having poor quality of public administration, public awareness and legal system. With the help of HRM, loyalty can be developed and maintained in employees. 
Another challenge facing organization is to handle legal pressures relating to employee-related laws of new types like gender bias, racial or caste bias in employment, sexual harassment, ethical issues. Necessarily expansion or contraction of the workforce, training needed to utilize new technology, costs for hiring, training, initiates, control, job design, accountability, staff specialists, employee relations. Human resources planning involves projecting how many people will be needed to fill position in an organization. This planning occurs in a changing environment. Organizations study their short-term and long-term needs to hire new employees. Uncertain economic condition such as overseas competition and changes in the technology are examples of why an organization might adjust its hiring needs. An organization may find it difficult to fill the position called for by HR planners. This might be because there is more demand in the organization than there is available talent in the job market. Another reason that the organization recruiting strategies aren't attracting the right talent. Environmental issues can occur inside an organization. Demographic changes affect the internal work climate. Change has become ephemeral everywhere, be it economy, politics and business and so on. These changes require HRM to play an ever more crucial role in organization. Workforce diversity. The Indian workforce is characterized by diversity such as more women entering the workforce, minority group members, older workers, etc. The increasing number of women in the workforce has necessitated the implementation of more flexible work, scheduling, childcare facilities, maternity leave and transfer to location of husband's place of posting. Economic and technological change. Technology has become the hallmark of modern organization. The explosive growth of information, technology linked to the internet has ushered in many changes throughout the organization. One of the major changes is the fall of hierarchy. This fall of hierarchy is because earlier if one wanted information, one had to stick to the chain of command. Now that has changed. One has to just tap in. Globalization, new economic policy, 1991, has globalized the Indian economy. Firms that formerly competed only with local firms now have to compete with foreign firms or competitors. Globalization has given rise to MNCs. The MNC are characterized by the cultural diversity, intensified competition, variations in business practices, etc. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Human resources are a term used to refer to how people are managed by organization. The terms human resource management and human resources HR have largely replaced the term personal management as a description of the processes involved in managing people in organization. Human capital is another term used to describe the value of a company and employees. Training, development and motivation are activities in which human resources professionals engage to prepare the current workforce for the challenging demands that future goals and objectives bring. Objectives are predetermined goals to which individuals or group activity in an organization's director. Human resources are undoubtedly the key resources in an organization, the easiest and the most difficult to manage.